when we of course come to our pregnant mother, they are enemy. They don't take regular ANC visits. They don't try to find out whether they are diabetes or hypertension or there was a problem. And we tell them, please don't smoke, don't take tobacco. They may take some amount of it, they may not take a low burden for their baby. And the use of ultra processed food, any amount of it is get given to the child is only 5 rupees a packet, 5 rupees for 10 biscuits. Yes, it is gives them the satisfaction, hunger satisfaction goals, but it is zero calories. And it actually, ultra processed food is a trans fat. They boil throughout the days, 24 hours, so your, whatever your, uh, what is that, water power, whatever is there in that dirty oil. And the child takes that and the wiring, the brain synaptogenesis is also goes down. This has been proved scientifically. In ultra processed food is eaten regularly. Every day pizza, every day hamburger, every day what is that people or pop and whatever they do is loaded with sugar, loaded with salt and even hydrocarbon. So it is bad for the effect of the growth and the development. What is important to know the social economic status of the mother? A literacy rate very very important is to educate them any of the problems can be sorted out. Birth spacing. Yes, we know there is gender bias. I don't know how we can go. And a lot of cultural and traditional beliefs which are there, which is really coming in the way of the development of society. Nutrition, very important. This is a portion of young girls here. But I only want to add the preconception stage when you should take care of the mother's food, mother's what's called folic acid iron. Also rule out any infection which the mother has. Treat the mother if she has caused any infection. If vaccination is required, we should see that that is given. That is the preconception thing. Then we of course give breastfeeding, deworming. You look out for a child if the child is malnourished. Take care of it and follow the HBNC and APYC program, which is a really very good program, at least up to 15 months. Uh, we try to take it up to two years because we wanted to go the port of 3,000 days. So we try to do that and we are doing it of course in one day. But what it is, it covers everything. It covers the growth, it covers the nutritional status, it covers the milestones of the child. Right up to 1 to 1, 15 months, you have a child which is well grown and all the problems they talked about. So I want to stress these are very important for the pain. These are nutrition, we call nutrition for the pain. Protein is a global thing. Polyunsaturated fatty acid which you get from nuts and seeds. And the cheapest one is the um, brown nuts. It's available everywhere. Don't go for almond and all. It's very, very costly. Go to can have what? 100% very good. Zinc, it takes care of the heart rate, respiratory rate, and the circulation of the body. Very important. Zinc is very important for learning. Memory and learning together with iron. Zinc and iron takes care of the memory of the child. Take a child who comes from school and if a child puts the bag and goes to sleep, he's enemy. I can tell you that. No child comes back, he wants to play around and go around. But if he does that, please find out what is the problem with the child. Worm infestation, very common to give rise to anemia. And that again causes malnutrition. We come to labor room and please remember, I consider this is one of the most important after delivery factors. This is the place where infections can take place. This is the place when what is friction can take place. This is a place where the infection and all problems can stand. Your labor room temperature should be between 26 to 29 degrees, otherwise the child will get hypothermia. If you don't put the baby to press immediately after birth, you will get hypoglycemia. If you don't wash your hands or the nurse doesn't take care of that hygiene, these will get infection, you get vertical infection from the mother to the baby and also around the environment. <coughs> so that also goes in. And we know we have a problem with low birth weight babies. It's something, I don't know how it can be sorted out, but it is a real major problem. And more than that are those spots for dead babies. Those who come short term or take 36 weeks onwards and they are lower. They are the ones who will have a lot of problems, especially with hypoglycemia and hypoglycemia. And of course, birth as we should, this is quite common as seen from the reports that I've seen. Something is going wrong in the labor room. There is somebody who should know. Capacity building of every nurse and anybody who is in the labor room should be really taken care of. You have got various programs. 
Lapsia program, various programs are there. But still, why it is happening? It is happening because nobody is monitoring. There is no accountability. Baby was no water, he came stillborn. Baby didn't cry or baby did not, they were just like stillborn and pass it off. It's not stillborn. Even if a baby gas, we have to resuscitate them and lift them. So what is wrong? Why don't you learn that? Why don't you do something for them? So that is there we know steroid, antigen is steroid to prevent prematurity. And as I said, temperature, airway, breathing and circulation, very, very important for a baby to be sterilized. That's why. Every newborn baby who cries and comes out, he has innate capacity and he's got built himself. They can always maintain themselves. Within minutes, you see a baby. Within minutes or even half an hour or 45 minutes, he will crumple up. Uh, advocate the, what you call abdominal delivery. As soon as the baby is born, put him onto the mother's abdomen. Don't cut the cord. We have seen that if you leave it for one and a half and three hours, nothing goes wrong. Baby automatically climbs and goes up to the press and he loves that amniotic stink which is on the mother. I mean, you and I don't like it. But the baby loves that smell and the baby goes on putting his hands well, goes up to the mother's well, could no one is given bath or everything at that time and he beautifully sucks. You do not give the baby to the mother within that first 45 minutes, 100 percent he will be hypoglycemia. Yeah. Second stage of labor, placenta is also separating. As the placenta separates and the baby is coming out, the amount of nutrition, <coughs> oxygen, circulation starts going down. So what the baby, then he comes up, he is hungry. Mother is not hungry. Baby is hungry, but everybody runs to the mother, episode of cover her up, clean her, and that baby is left into the uh, open air, I mean, somebody puts in that tray, that tray is horrible, which can just conduct to the conduction heat loss. It is the worst form of taking the baby cold, you know, and I don't know, I always say give that uh, tray to the office bearer, they can put a pen and pencil and <laughs> But still, today also I'm seeing in certain places the baby is taken in the tray, it will never be taken in the tray. Take a warm cloth, that is what it is. He loses his uh, heat by evaporation. Then you put on a fan, mother is hot, the nurse is feeling hot, and the baby, I always say, if I'm feeling uncomfortable, my baby is comfortable. And that is what the temperature should be for the You should be uncomfortable. Then the baby is very fine. But feed the baby immediately so that he does not go into hypoglycemia. Hypo and you will see that baby automatically gets his environmental factors. This is Immediately social function, his heart is moving, his abdomen, you hear go, things sound, sometimes they pass meconium, sometimes they, they pass urine, and all his physiological functions are already provided. His genes are normal, and the environmental factors, that is all your neighborhood factors, which I told you, must be in order. Please. These are gene diversity. Please remember, every baby comes out is not the tick of a clock. He must breathe. He must uh, pass meconium. He must pass eco. They don't do that. They have their own way of doing everything, which is the first copy of that. They move their hand. They will put their hand on the head. Anything they can do. These are all gene diversity that can happen in Tenshmi.